JP Productions. Good job, man. It's your boy JP Productions, man, and welcome back to the channel. If you are new, then definitely hit the subscribe button. All right, and like the video for sure. Comment down below afterwards the video if you have any questions, comments, or video suggestions, man. Hey, I'm always open to hear you guys' suggestions. All right, so feel free to comment that below. So, uh, we're gonna get straight to it, okay? I'm not gonna sugarcoat anything. You guys see the title. And I'm gonna just say this, all right, before we get into the breakdown and all that good stuff, all right? So, everybody wants to be that score, right? Everybody wants to be that score that you see on TV. You got the Jason Tatums of the world, Donovan Mitchell, you got the Steph Curry, Clay Thompson. Everybody wants to be a score for their team. Everybody wants to be that primary score, right? I would. I'm pretty sure you might be in that same position, same mindset as well. But before you get that, you got to be able to know what shots you have to knock down. Because if you want to be able to do what they're doing, you got to be able to knock down the simple shots, right, that they get in the game. And the simple shots in the game right now is catch and shoot. Can you shoot off the dribble, okay? I'm not saying you got to shoot off the dribble like a Steph Curry, you know, do a combo move, step back, side step. I'm not saying you got to do that. Yes, that's great to have that. But... Shooting off the dribble, whether that's going towards your left off a of screen, going towards your right, and doing a step back, you know, something simple like that, right? But the major thing when it comes to scoring a basketball, right, is catch and shoot. That is something you're going to see a lot of times, whether the, t whether the defense is playing man-to-man -man or even zone, right? Catch and shoot is a shot you got to knock down. If you don't have the catch and shoot, knock down, jumper in your bag, it's going to be tough for you. It's going to be really tough for you. Because look at today's game as well. We're moving towards shooting, okay? Yes, we're getting the dunks in still, but look at the game right now. It's majority of the time, we want threes. That's how it is, all right? So we're going to be looking at some film of Peyton Pritchard. If you guys don't know who Peyton Pritchard is, Peyton Pritchard is right now, I believe he is a rookie. Right, he's playing for the Celtics. I used to watch him whenever he was in high school too. Shout out to Peyton Pritchard. Made it to the NBA, man, and he's getting some buckets, right? Peyton Pritchard. You ask an NBA player right now who Peyton Pritchard is, they're probably gonna be like, I don't know who that is. You know what I'm saying? And let's just let's be real for a second, right? Hooper the Hooper, me and you, right? You go to the court, you don't know who that guy is, you're gonna be like, I'm not gonna waste my time playing defense on him because I don't know what he has in this game. So that's when we tend to kind of slack off. We don't play defense on them, right? We kind of help out in the paint a little bit because we're like, I don't know who this man is. Let's be real. Hoopers, we do this, right? So this is when Peyton Pritchard, he's not the primary scorer for this Celtics bunch. But if he continues to knock down shots like he's been doing and continues to create for his team, he'll be that star in no time. He's got the potential. He's got the little runners. He's got the shot, right? So let's look at some film, okay? So the film is going to be, first off, we're going to be looking at the open shots, right? These are open shots. And these are open shots, once again, like I said, the catch and shoot, you got to have it in your bag. All right. So uh, let's look at Peyton Pritchard right now, okay? Peyton Pritchard right now is pretty much on the right corner, okay? As you can see, he's got some space, right? He's got some space. This is Peyton right here. Here goes his defender, Shim. Remember, catch and shoot is the goal. You got to knock down the simple shots. Whatever shots that they give you, you got to be able to knock down that shot. Okay? Simple shot. He's in the corner, right? Peyton's in the corner. He's waiting. Hands ready. Sham it. He's kind of playing deep, deep down in the paint. All right. Now, great job for Peyton, okay? What Peyton did just now is called relocation. If he was still in the corner, yes, he could have got the ball, but you got to make it easier for not only yourself, but also easier for the passer, okay? If the passer were to try to pass the ball from where he was right there in the paint, he's got to deal with Shaman right here. 
he could potentially steal that ball, okay? Yeah, Tristan Thompson was kind of screening him. Shout out to Tristan Thompson. See, when it comes to the little stuff like this, you love to play with players who do this because he knows that Peyton's back behind him or he was behind him. So if the ball goes to Peyton and Shaman tries to run back over here, you know what I'm saying? He's gonna get hit with a brick wall because Double T is setting the screen. But Peyton Pritchard pretty much relocated so he could make it easier for the passer to deliver him the ball. So shout out to Peyton Pritchard for moving. What shot was that? That was a catch and shoot. And it's a knockdown. Here goes another one right here. Peyton Pritchard has the ball, top of the key. Passes it off. All right, little fake screen. This guy right here, he's pretty much so focused on the ball. All right. Yes, he he has to defend Peyton Pritchard, but he's so focused on the ball. Peyton, Peyton Pritchard's gone, bro. Like, he relocates, okay? Kind of gets stuck right here. Oh, uh, that looks like double T. Once again, here goes the easy shot. A uh, catch and shoot shot. And that's a knockdown. And it's an easy thing to do, guys. Like, a lot of people like, JP, man, like, I really want to be able to score the ball, but, I mean, they're not passing you the ball, right? Now, I get it. You're trying to play. And you, if you're playing pickup, right, and you're playing with people that you never played with before, they may not even pass you the ball like that because they don't know if you're good or not, right? And let's just say you do get that one chance where it's a catch-and-shoot situation. You catch that ball, you dip it, you shoot it, and it's a swish, all right? They see you make that shot, they're like, okay, he might have something in him, all right? He may have a little sun sun, right? So you got to be able to knock down these simple shots, and the game will open up even more for you. That's when you'll be able to drive in more and et cetera, all right? So catch and shoot once again. Here goes another one right here. Set the screen. Peyton Pritchard is right here. Rejects the screen. As you can see, McConnell is way too deep helping him out. Helping him out. Peyton Pritchard is wide open. Once again, it's kind of, yes, they could have been, yes, I understand it's good to help out, you know, because they could either be playing man or they could be running zone. It looks like from this clip right here, it looks like they were running zone, but this is what happens, bro. Like, if you don't defend your shooters in a zone defense, they will shoot you out. You know what I'm saying? Peyton Pritchard is open. Peyton Pritchard is a shooter. He's a shooter. And you just left my man's wide open. You keep on doing that, <laughs> you're going to get scored 30 on, bro. Good pass by Tatum. Once again, what kind of shot was that? An easy, simple catch and shoot shot. Here goes another clip right here. Easy shot. Catch and shoot. And that was from deep too. Here comes another one right here. You got Peyton Pritchard right here in the right corner. All right. Here comes the relocation. Peyton starting in the right corner. And as, as you can see, he's going to go and start to move towards that right wing. Relocates. Catch and shoot. Easy shots. And before we get into the create, guys, I just want to say, like, like I've been saying, it's the simple shots. A lot of you guys want to do all this fancy stuff. But before we get to that position, let's try to knock down these easy shots. Because whenever we start to knock down these easy shots, it's going to open up the game for us. Then we'll be able to do a lot more. We'll be able to do moves off the dribble. We'll be able to drive in the paint. Right, and that's gonna suck the defense in. Then you could pass the ball off. You could do many things, but if you get those easy shots and you don't knock them down, that's when the game will become more harder for you. Okay, because number one, you're not knocking down shots, and number two, your teammates can't rely on you because you're not knocking down shots. And it's sad to say, and I understand. I've been there. I've been in that position before. You're like, man, I know I can hit these shots, but I just can't hit these shots. And I can't, you know, I can't help my teammates win. And they can't rely on me to knock down that shot. So I become a liability. So now it becomes a 4v5. Why is it a 4v5? Because me, the minus one, I can't do anything. I can't score. Let's try to get these simple shots out the way first. 
before we try to get all these nice fancy combos going. All right, because this is the shots you're gonna need. If you want to become that star player, you need these simple shots. And catch and shoot right now is one of the most simple, most effective shots you can get at any time in a game. So let's go to the create section. Let's, all right, so they know Peyton Pritchard's a catch and shoot shooter. They know he's a shooter, right? Let's just say right now you're Peyton Pritchard right now. They know that you're a shooter. You sprayed them so much, now they have to respect you, okay? They dumped the ball off to Peyton. Oh, no, not yet. Now they dumped the ball off to Peyton. As you can see, it's a hard closeout. You gotta attack that. You can't shoot everything. So Peyton does a great job. He draws by him, because it was a hard closeout. What can he do now? He's coming up in the mid-range area. It's a lost art. I'm not, I wouldn't say it's a lost art, but not a lot of players do it. And especially if you are a small guard, you got to be able to knock down this mid-range J. So he pulls up mid-range area because he got Sabonis down here. Takes the mid-range shot. That's a bucket. Moving on to another one. All right. Little pump fake. Drives by his defender. A little runner you got to do it and I, I don't know I forgot his exact height I want to say he's probably like 6'2 maybe 6'1 I forgot Payne's height but bro Payne Pritchard against DeAndre Jordan let's be real man Payne Pritchard yes he does have a chance but you know what I'm saying just let's let's take the easy shot let's take this simple shot for this runner knock it down get you a bucket here goes another one That's a tough pass. Now let's look at the many details that you guys probably didn't see. So as you can see, Peyton Pritchard is right here. Pass is going to him. Notice how, see a lot of players, whenever they catch the ball, they tend to hold the ball for a few seconds and then they start to, you know, operate in their jabs and all that. Notice how Peyton Pritchard pretty much caught the ball while he was in the air. Then he went ahead and drove immediately. He didn't catch it, wait a few seconds, and then go. He caught it while he was in the air, so now he can use that momentum and drive in immediately. Or he could catch, jab, and drive the other way. There's multiple things you could do, and I got a video on this move as well, so I'll leave it down in the description, so feel free to check it out. But look, he hops, there goes the hop, there goes the catch, and he immediately drives, splits his feet, negative step right here then he's gone drives in drives in right great job at keeping his angle in front of his defender now you got Sabonis right here you got this guy in the corner right as far as this defender this big man I don't even know if he knows that this guy is right here in the corner but if he does is Peyton does kick it to this guy in the corner this man right here he's got to help out and drive to that corner shot right but you know the game of basketball you don't know everything and at times you got to take the chance but great job for this big man right here to get in front of his defender which gives Peyton the opportunity to pass the rock so Sabonis commits to the ball which leaves the creativity for Pritchard to get that ball off he missed it but it's all good little crossover all right good pass and he created man see let me go back 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 see if Peyton couldn't shoot his defender's not guarding him up close like this if he couldn't shoot if he was Ben Simmons best believe McConnell right here he's gonna be down low by the nail that's how it is so you got to be able to shoot right so don't cross over by Pritchard drives in now this big man got to help and huge huge shout out to my man right here that's cutting to the basket too many players just sit in one spot and they complain about man I'm not getting no touches man like I'm trying to score more yada 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 my god the only the reason why you ain't getting touches at times is look at this back door my man right here is not even paying attention but yet 
you don't want to cut because you're just a shooter? My guy, you can shoot. Steph Curry's a shooter. He still cuts to the basket at times. Klay Thompson, he's a shooter. He still cuts to the basket at times. Stop complaining about getting enough touches when you're just standing in one spot. Move around, my guy. Move around. So shout out to my man right here with the cut. Because if he didn't cut, Peyton Pritchard probably had a... He has, he had a pass right here to Teague, but it probably would have been a lot more harder to get off because Brogdon probably would have went over here and closed that up. So shout out to my man for making that cut. And there goes an assist for Pritchard, man. So that's going to conclude the little breakdown here. I just, once again, I just want to really, really state, guys, that these players, yes, they are great. They are great. And you could be great as well. If you could really focus on knocking down these simple shots, knocking down these simple shots will make you that star for your team. But if you can't knock down these simple shots, you will not become that scorer that you have the desire to be. It's just how it is. Like I said earlier, my last time, all these great scorers, they once were in that position where they didn't have a lot of touches, but because they developed their game, they continue to elevate and work on their game every single day to knock down these simple shots that allowed their game to open up. And that's when the fun really starts to begin. I appreciate you guys for tuning in, man. Be sure to like the video, subscribe if you are new, comment down below any questions you may have or video suggestions. I'm always open. I really appreciate you guys' support, man. It's your boy, JP. <laughs> hey, till next time, man.